So here we are saying once again, we have already done this, count how many students are in each section. right? So for every course ID, section, name, combination, how many students are there? That we have already done. But now we are saying, do not list all the results, meaning do not list the number of students for every combination of course ID and section name. Instead, list only those sections that have at least 5 students registered in them. Okay? So, what we are saying is perform an aggregate operation, but do not list the result of all the rows, only result, uh, list the results of some of the rows. Okay? Now, you may think that because we are selecting a subset of the rows, we have to use a where clause. That is not correct because you may select, see when you select from the original table a subset like we have done in many examples earlier. For example, show me the details of all the students who are uh, you know taller than 65 inches. Okay? So, in that case we are looking at all the students and filtering based on the original data. In this example, it is different we are performing an aggregate operation. Okay? We are no more dealing with the original table. We took the original table, performed an aggregate operation and from the aggregate results, we are performing selections. Okay? So, there you do not use a WHERE clause. WHERE clause is used only for selecting from the original table. When you are selecting from an aggregated result, you use a different clause, it is called HAVING. Okay? So, we say select course ID section name count star. This is all like before and we say from registrations and we say group by course ID section name. Okay? This is all exactly like before. If we stopped right here, then this would list the results for every course ID section name combination. But we do not want that. We only want those sections that have more than 5 students you achieve that by doing having count star greater than 5. Okay? So, this says only those students for which the count is more than 5, number of rows is more than 5, more greater than or equal to 5 is at least 5, list only those. Okay? So, it is very important for you to understand the difference between when you use a where clause and when you use the having clause. Okay? So, once again I direct your attention back to the original video where we talk about this very, very carefully. Okay? This is a place where a lot of students make mistakes in the exam and I want to highlight this right up front. That is it. That is question number 17 and pretty much we have discussed all of the solutions.